The truce between Israel and Gaza has been extended for an additional two days. That is until Thursday morning Israel time. Now, under the agreement, 10 hostages will be released by Hamas each day. Our Choi Min Jung leads our coverage this morning. The four day humanitarian pause in Gaza, which was set to end on Tuesday, has been extended for another two days. Qatar's foreign ministry confirmed the agreement on Monday without giving too much detail. A senior Israeli advisor said Hamas will release 10 hostages each day under the terms of the agreement. The White House said it welcomed the extension. Now, in order to extend the pause, Hamas has committed to releasing another 20 women and children over the next two days. We would, of course, hope to see the pause extended further, and that will depend upon Hamas continuing to release hostages. U.S. President Joe Biden also released a statement stressing that related parties would take full advantage of the pause in fighting to increase the amount of humanitarian aid moving into Gaza. Biden also vowed to continue U.S. efforts to build a future of peace and dignity for the Palestinian people. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres described the extension as hopeful, but warned that it still does not give enough time to meet humanitarian needs in Gaza. It's a glimpse of hope and humanity in the middle of the darkness of war. Knowing that uh, even with that additional amount of time, it will be impossible to satisfy all the dramatic needs of the population in Gaza. On the fourth day of the truce on Monday, the Israeli military confirmed the release of an additional 11 Israeli hostages. Qatar's foreign ministry said the hostages include three French citizens, two German citizens, and six Argentinian citizens. Over the first three days of the truce, Hamas released more than 50 hostages, mostly women and children. Israel freed over 100 Palestinians from prison. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.